Hey everyone, welcome back to more of Quest of Beings. It's kind of this version 2 of this quest. Alright, so got a normal grinding bit done. I think bought all, most of the basic supplies I'll need. I'm head on for a level 1 right now. Again, with no, you know, because there's no instant enemy respawn, uh, stuff has become a lot more balanced and more so in later levels. Okay, so let's head on to level 1. I think the music did change a little bit. I mean, you've played the original QOB. Uh, some of the tracks are the same, but I think there's, again, more variety. And level 1's a pretty short level. A lot easier now because there's no respawn to worry about. Yeah, so this is what investing a little bit of time for upgrades will do. And I think in this quest you can actually spam the doorway. You, know, you can attack from the very edge of the screen. So that might become useful in some later levels. Pretty much gonna be in and out of this level pretty quickly. You know, pick up the boomerang. Well, I'm not really sure if you need it because it, you know you can use sword beams. Yeah, you can, they can reach the gels on the other side. So since this is a pretty old quest, I'm not sure you know how you can really change this. Probably could just put like a, a trigger uh, that can only be reached with a boomerang. I guess that's one way around it. This room used to be a real pain because there used to be traps like in this whole room. And remember, everything respawns the moment you step out of the room. So now it's a lot easier to maneuver through. Those are actually item bubbles. It doesn't really matter to me because I can just use my sword beam. I 
And here we got Aquamentis, which no big issue. Pretty much in and out of this level in a matter of minutes. I may as well just head right on to level two because I already bought enemy bait in the arrows. Kind of a weird clue, but you just take the first letters of every word. So to do this one, you gotta make sure you approach from the bottom. Here. Uh, again, I'm not sure what's under the brown bush there. And we got level two in this lone corner. There's a, again, more variety of music, because I think the original, you still hear the same uh, soundtrack as in level one. Now, this one, I think, is DKC3. Kind of weird uh, Moldorm sprites there. I mean, that was there in the original. Yeah, another fairly small map to go through. Might as well pick up the free money. 50 rupees right there. spots you need enemy bait for. I mean, is that the only one, or the... I don't remember if you put more spots in there. Alright, pick up the blue candle. Now, luckily, most of these secret rooms are labeled. So you're not stuck having to try to bomb everything. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking. But luckily it's not as annoying to go through now. Make sure you've bought arrows. It costs like 20 rupees anyway. And in case you have literally no money, I mean, you just got that 50 rupees in that other room. Another 20 right here. I guarantee you can buy arrows. I mean, the 50 is already enough for that. I guess maybe that if you don't have enemy bait. So you'll get enough free money in this place and buy what you need. Yeah, a little bit of zigzagging. I don't have sword beams, I just happen to lose my sword beams, you have to use arrows. I'm gonna try to get that extra five rupees there. because and you'll find plenty of it just from beating up enemies and just free money just after beating rooms. Sword beams. It's kind of hard to do because you're having to block two sides. Well, that's what you got arrows for on the backup. But again, these are item bubbles. Yeah, so I don't really care about the bubbles, I mean, as long as I can keep sword beams. Now backtracking all the way to the start. And so far, I'm actually this part's not gone that long yet. I'm almost wondering if I should just go through level three. It's not often I can go through that many levels in one part. It does, 
That's level two right there. It hasn't even taken me that long yet. And I think you do start in the, the dungeon entrance. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to walk back. So if you happen to get to the dungeon, you can start from there. Throw some arrows out. Not like I'm, you know, getting my money back really quickly. These enemies, you know, I find a lot of Zolls in the mountain area. Good chance to get some money back. Might as well spend some money. Because I'm gonna cap out very quickly at this rate. Again, I'm not sure if I need more enemy bait, but, you know, given it's only 20 rupees, you know, just to fill up the inventory. This screen, but yeah, actually, you just before I took out that Zoll, you actually saw it walking down through the wall here. So you can actually go through here. I'm here, uh, level three. I think this level is also pretty short, so I guess I might as well go through it, right? Now you can notice the floor tiles here. It's a little easier to realize you have to push this. Before you had to kind of guess at that. what this this uh, music is I know I heard it in randomizer and more free money.
I mean, I'm pretty much gonna cap out my wallet, even though I bought the <coughs> uh, magic boomerang and enemy bait. Yeah, might as well throw some money out since I have so much of it now. small map to go through. A little bit excessive on the blue bubbles, but, you know, not complaining. That's a clue for uh, two bonus dungeons. Uh, one of them, if you played the original QOB, is in the same spot. And the other one is pretty much right at the starting screen, so no real tricks there. It's nice you don't have to beat up those dongles every single time. I think before you did, you know, you, know, you, know, you beat the dongles, you gotta beat them again and again because you have to go through that room a few times. Okay, this room got cut down a little bit. It's not as annoying to go through. I think before, I don't know if I remember correctly, if it's ten, it was ten gomas, ten blue gomas or something like that. Now basically you'd be spending quite a bit of time in this room. hit by the red bubble in the that last room because of all these blue bubbles again. You just run into one of these. Splitter. Yeah, and that's how fast level three went down. Nice little small maps to go through. And again, because there's no instant enemy respawn, you don't have to waste time going through the same room again and again. here because you pretty much have to work your way all the way back to the start. Yeah, 
I need this free money here, but I don't even need that because I'm almost capped anyway. Since I'm in the area, I might as well pick up this heart container. This screen yet. And again, the tech types are normal, normal behavior rather than just going on the sides of the screen. the step ladder to get to this. I mean, this one is also has one of these little water gaps to cross. And I think that's just more free money right there. I should just buy a super bomb. Because I have like nothing else to spend money on at this point. Yeah, just leave that there for now. money at this point. Alright, so got through a whole bunch of levels in this part. And next part we'll be heading towards level 4. We'll probably take that level out and uh, start exploring it a little bit more after that. Alright, see you guys later.